Hi, it's Tuesday, and I'm Deb Purvin, and today's Tuesday Tweak is about your customer, your customer profiles. Who are they? So, if you line up all your customers in a, in a list, I want you to look at what their commonalities are. What about them is, do they have in common? Who is your ideal customer? Think about demographics. Think about psychographics, industry, geographics. There are lots of different characteristics, but I want you to think about what they all have in common. Do you have 50% that have things in common, 60, 70, 80%? So demographics, age, sex, income levels, education levels, um, psychographics, um, how they think, what they're looking for, what motivates them. So for me, here's an example for my business owners MBA. I'm looking for brilliant business owners who have owned their company for five years or more and who have a couple of, of employees, whether contractors or employees. Those are demographic issues. The psychographics, I want them to be curious. I want them to value learning. I want them to be people who like to learn and who value time. Our business owners MBA, we only spend 15 minutes a day thinking about scaling your business. And in the year that it takes, it's amazing that you can double the size of your business. So those are the kinds of descriptions that I want you to think about for your clients because then when you're in a, uh, an elevator or a coffee house, you can explain, hey, do you know anyone who fits this profile? And it helps to talk to your customers about this. Why did they choose you? Obviously, there are other people. For me, you know, you could join Vistage, you could join EO, you could join uh, Goldman Sachs, which I teach. But they, they choose to be in my program because they want to learn their numbers. That's where I focus. So what's your differentiator? And then continue to ask, who fits this profile? Now, in order to scale, in order to grow quickly, you really want to focus on this target market. You don't want to look at all those people who might be clients. If The better you can define your niche, then you can specifically target that niche, and that's going to help you grow. Be discriminating. Look for those clients that you know are a good fit and be clear on who they are and you will grow incredibly quickly. So if you have a success story, if this has helped you at all, let me know. I love to hear from, from, from you. Thanks. That's it for this week. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.